Welcome back to the best Android apps of June 2019. This time around, I have one wallpaper, six apps, and four games. Let's jump right in. Abstruck is the wallpaper app for this month, and the developer is Hampus Olsen. The same designer who created the official wallpapers for OnePlus and Paranoid Android. It's a really amazing pack with tons of wallpapers, including those from Auction OS, AOSPA, some of his past collection of works, and some new unique ones that look astonishing. As you can guess from the title of this app, all these walls are abstract and colorful, and there are over 250 walls to choose from so you'll always have a clean looking background. Video editing has always been bad on Android. Most of the apps that do allow you to edit only have the basics, are outdated, gimmicky, or are difficult to use. However, recently Adobe released a new app called Adobe Premiere Rush, which is very similar to the Windows program and editing has become a whole lot better on Android. Also, anything you edit in Premiere Rush can be synced over to the cloud and be opened up in Premiere on your desktop to continue your work. For starters, you have the basic multi-layer timeline for including videos, pictures, text, or audio files. Every layer can be trimmed, rearranged, include transitions, or cut. And each layer you include in your timeline can be customized to the extreme. For example, for each title, you can change the font, size, color, or even use templates to animate them. For videos, you can color grade them with filters or LUTs, capture videos with the built-in camera feature, or use motion graphic templates. And for sound, you can add in music, record voiceovers, adjust the audio levels, and more. It is missing some of the popular desktop premiere capabilities such as keyframes, stabilization, video effects, speed ramping, or masking, but coming from a person who's been using Adobe Premiere for over six years now, I'd say this is one of the best on-the-go mobile editing apps out there. Just keep in mind that with any Adobe product, there is a subscription-based plan, and as of right now, only a few devices are supported. But more devices and features will be supported in the future, so don't get your hopes down. <sighs> that was a lot. All right, so let's check out a simpler yet useful app. Blackbox is a gray app that will automatically record your phone calls so you can listen to them later, no matter if they're incoming or outgoing, and it records both your voice and the caller's voice. You can also share your recordings, back them up on Google Drive, whitelist contacts, sort them, and more. Just keep in mind that it doesn't support VOIP calls from WhatsApp, Messenger, Snapchat, Skype, etc. But for regular calls, it works like a charm, and you don't need root or ADB to get it working. At this point, you probably thought there's an app for everything out there, but somehow developers still find ways to produce unique and useful apps that you need to download right away. Firefox Screenshot Go is one of those apps. This lets you categorize all of your screenshots and allows you to extract text within your screenshots, just like Google Lens, to copy or search it. You can also search through all of your screenshots by text, which is very useful if you have hundreds of screenshots and you don't want to search through them all just to find a specific one. So give it a try if you need a screenshot management tool. Now before I move on to even more amazing apps, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Upsea for sponsoring this video. For those of you who are in the US, when purchasing a smartphone, laptop, TV, camera, or any other electronic device, I highly recommend you purchase the warranty off Upsea's website because their prices are up to 70% lower than other retailers. Trust me, their prices are extremely cheap and they're completely transparent on what is being covered before you even buy it. Well, let's say you already purchased a device without a warranty. Well, for a smartphone, as long as the purchase is less than 45 days old, Upsea will still cover the device, unlike other retailers, which will pressure you to buy the warranty on the spot. Even better, 60 days for any other tech that isn't a smartphone. Now let's say you purchased the warranty and now you need to get your phone fixed. No problem, since Upsea stores your receipt and device info, making a claim is really easy and stress-free, and you can make a claim 24-7, 365 by talking to a real person and not a machine. Use code HOWTOMEN for 10% off your first purchase, and I'll drop a link down below if you want to give it a try. Anyway, sticking with the topic of screenshots, how about an app to customize screenshots into device frames so you can share them in a professional and beautiful manner? Well, SnapMod is the best and most modern option out there. It has a ton of frames to choose from, including all of the latest OnePlus devices, Google phones, Samsung, Huawei, HTC, Oppo, Xiaomi, and more. Once you download a frame, choose your screenshot and change the background color, or you can go transparent, and then you can download the PNG file and share it on social media. One of the disadvantages of having a large bezel-less display, like on the OnePlus 7 Pro, is that it's really difficult to reach the status bar with just one hand. That's why I recommend you download MIUIFI if you have a large phone and small hands because it throws the notification and quick settings panel to the bottom of the screen for easier access. With a single swipe, you can see and control all of your notifications, including your music player. It has sliders so you can control the brightness or volume of any profile, and it shows a ton of information that is also on the top of your status bar. Swiping up a second time will expand the quick settings panel, which works perfectly to toggle most system settings, and you can customize the titles to add in new ones or rearrange them. 
I'm only scratching the surface here. There are a ton more options you can customize, so download it right away. For those of you who use social media and post a ton of stories, check out most stories so you can turn your boring pictures into animated ones. There are over 50 different templates to choose from, and my favorite categories include photography and minimal. Using these templates is easy. Just select the ones you want to use, add the number of pictures required for that template, edit the picture, edit the text, preview it, and share it on Instagram. Some templates are locked, so you'll need to pay a subscription to unlock them, but there's still a lot of free templates to get you started. Moving on to the games, Dead Run 2 is up first. It's a platform runner game where you need to run, jump, and shoot zombies until you reach the end of the stage. The graphics are geometric, pixelated, and in 3D, providing a unique and beautiful gameplay experience. And each level is purposely dark themed, so when a horde of zombies attack you, it gets really intense, so you need to be on guard at all times. As you move on, you'll be able to upgrade and unlock various skills, weapons, armor, health, and more using the stars that you collect within the levels. And there will be a lot more powerful zombies and traps that you need to avoid or shoot. Give it a try if you like fast-paced games. Golf Blitz is a real-time multiplayer golf game and it's by the same developers who created the popular Super Stick Band Golf games in the past. In this game, you'll be playing against four other players and your goal is to make it into the hole before anyone else does. You can use power-ups to help you with accuracy, strength, use grenades, lasers, or unlock and use plenty more power-ups. You have to be fast and accurate because a lot of people within this game are really good. Now plan is next and in this game you're a plant that grows very rapidly. You need to navigate it through various courses until you reach the end of the stage. Your stamp can't touch anything or you'll lose, and the flower can't bump into anything or you'll fall and probably lose. It's a pretty simple game but it can get pretty tricky as you move on as there will be plenty more objects to avoid. Either way it's a great time killer so give it a try. The last game on this list is called The Bonfire Forsaken Lands. It's a survival simulation where you have to make crucial decisions to grow your village and keep it alive. At first, the buildings you construct and the things you craft will be used for your basic survival needs such as food, huts for your villagers to live in, wooden spears for defense, torches, pickaxes, etc. But as the days goes on, there will be plenty more characters to interact with, monsters that you will need to fight, a lot more cool stuff to craft, and plenty of dungeons to explore. It's pretty addicting since every passing day provides something new, plus the minimalistic graphics and sound effects makes the gameplay very relaxing. Anyways, that concludes the best Android apps of June 2019. If you downloaded at least one app from this list, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button to show your support, and why not get subscribed while you're at it? You can expect content that will take your Android device to the next level of customization. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at HowToMan for a chance of winning some promo codes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!